not used to standing in front of this many people, but let me tell you, I believe like that sister said last Sunday, I was going to be one of the 20 as well. And I all week, you know, from the beginning of the week, I kept saying something amazing is going to happen to me. Something amazing is going to happen to me. And I um, come Tuesday, everything, you know, how they say all heck breaks loose. That's what happened. My cell phone broke and it was completely gone. I lost all my contacts and, and then I showed somebody and they said, oh, that's terrible. And I said, but something amazing is gonna happen to me this week. By Wednesday, my brakes went out. And I was like, oh God, I gotta find somebody to fix it. I met someone earlier this year and I contacted them and asked them, could they fix my brakes? So they said, okay, so they, uh, I took it to them on Wednesday evening. He worked on them and he worked on them and it was coming time for me to meet my curfew where I live, I have to be in at a certain time. And I said, I gotta get back. And so he said, okay, I, I tell you what, um, I'll take you back and I'll bring your car to you first thing in the morning. And so here I am, I'm not even trusting because I thought I could trust him, but everybody told me something different after the fact that he possibly could be on drugs and he had issues. And I was like, no, he's so nice and everything, you know. So Thursday morning when he's supposed to bring my car, he was a no-show. And I was like, no, 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 no. And so then after a couple hours went by, you know, I was asking people if they can take me to where I know he fixed my car to see if I can find him. I couldn't get a ride. and. Finally, the lady that who was in charge of the place where I stay said, come on, I'll take you, I'll take you. So she took me there. He was nowhere to be found. And his girlfriend and his, his baby was there and she didn't know where he was. And I was like, oh my God, he may have sold my car because everybody wants my car. <laughs> it, it, they do. I mean, I didn't have five people say when they wanna buy it. So I said, I know he wants this money, so he sold my car. So about Thursday afternoon, I said, I'm calling the police. But I contacted his girlfriend to see if he came back yet. She said, no. I said, I'm calling the police. She said, no, don't call the police, please. Just, just give me a little time to find him. And so then she contacted me a couple hours later. She said, I couldn't find him. So I was praying the whole time. And when I was telling a couple people here and there that, you know, my car was missing. I said, but something amazing is gonna happen to me. Around 6.30, 7 o'clock that evening, here he come with my car. And when I talked to him, he almost had his head down and like he was like a lost puppy. And he said, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. I, 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 I went and cleaned it up and, and I'm giving it back to you. He said, I'm sorry I took it. And I was like, thank you. I got my car back. That's the amazing thing that happened. Amen, amen. Come on, Sarah. 